In this video, I want to show you how to use Fimara's quick split mode. This allows you to quickly split through uh, different clips. And uh, yeah, to get started, as you can see here, I have clips. I have uh, clips on these tracks. And if you go on the top toolbar here, you want to go all the way to the left until you see this as uh, switching mouse status here. So click on this. It's going to be a drop down type of situation here. We're going to see several options. Now, as you can see here, we have our uh, quick split mode here. And by the way, the select is going to be the default that is selected, which allows you to select uh, stuff within uh, the uh, the timeline here. So going back to uh, this here, you can see that the second option is going to be the quick split mode. As you can see here, there's also a shortcut, which is C, that you can use to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and select that. Once you select the quick split mode, you are going to see that uh, your pointer or your mouse pointer turns into a razor here, right? Now, if I move it on top of a clip, you're going to see that I'm going to be able to uh, split this. Now, if I go anywhere where there's no clip, you're going to see that little red line crossing out that razor. So that's a, it's essentially telling you that you're not going to be able to split anything on here just because there's not a clip uh, on top of this. Now, I'm going to go over to this here. As you can see, it's going to allow you to split this. And it even tells you that uh, kind of like a timestamp here as to where you're clipping. So let's say I wanted to split the video here. I'll just click on this. I want to split it here. I'll click on that. Split it here. Click on that. As you can see, this is why this is called the quick split mode here. So if I go to the video below it, as you can see, I'm going to be able to do that as well. Now, I like to use this. I'll show you how I like to use this quick split mode here because it's kind of hard to, um, you know, kind of like guess where you need to be splitting the video. Now, I'm going to go back here, switch back to my select uh, mouse pointer. Now, what I like to do is if I'm editing a video, I will go ahead and watch the video and try to find uh, the different parts within the video where I want to split the video. Let's say I'm watching this video, I'm previewing this video. I'm like, I want to split this part here. I just go ahead and add a marker here. So what I like to do is I'll select the video itself, right? And I'll go ahead and add a marker here. So add a marker. As you can see, the marker is going to be added on the video itself. If you look on here, you see that we have a marker now. So I'll watch the video some more until I get to another point. Let's say I want to remove this middle part i'll go ahead and add another marker on here okay now so i watch the video some more i go over here i hit a marker and i decide that i want to remove this entire part i add the marker here now once i'm done doing this i've uh, previewed my entire video and i decided that these are the parts that i want to remove from my video what i'll do is i'll switch over to the quick split mode and i'll just go ahead and go to the markers as you can see this snaps right in the middle of that marker okay so here I'll split the video here. Split the video here. Uh, let's do that one more time. Okay, I'll split the video over here as well. Split the video over here as well, right? And I'll switch over to my select uh, pointer here. I'll just select this. Go ahead and hit delete on the keyboard. Go over here, or you can do right click and you can go ahead and hit delete over here as well. That works as well. Okay, so that is how I like to use uh, this quick split mode. I kind of I kind of like use these markers to help me uh, kind of like mark the areas that I want to split. And once I'm done with that, I can just grab my quick split mode and quickly split through the cl entire clip. All right. Now that is pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.